okay so we saw that you can use an rnn to process a text sequence right so let us see what happens inside one rnn cell right so i draw the rnn cell like this and what do you give you give one word to it as input let's say you give one word which is x1 and it produces two outputs right one is your y hat one which is the prediction corresponding to the current word it might be needed in some tasks but we can have it right and it produces a state vector let's say a1 right or let's talk about any at any time step t you produced yt and this is a of t and you also get another state vector which is from the previous state which is a of t minus 1 right so these two are your inputs to your rnn cell and these two are your outputs right so rnn applies some function that we have discussed right it is going to apply some function f to the input side so your outputs right or let's say your uh, the next state right a of t it is going to be s some function of the previous state which is a of t minus 1 and your current input which is xt right okay so now let us define what this function f would be right so we need to focus upon what is going to be f right? so it is going to be like a very simple neural network right so what you can do you can when we uh, yeah so let's say you are uh, inputting one word let's say this is a great movie right so first thing is how do you represent this word right so there, there could be multiple ways to represent this word one of the one very simple way that we have learned is we can uh, create a vocab right let's say there are 10,000 elements in the dictionary or let's say there are some v elements mod v is the vocab size and uh, the index of grade is some i right so you create a one hot vector like this and you feed this vector to to as input to this cell right so you need to have some matrix w and you also need to have some another matrix w which basically transforms your activation or which is the let's say weights of the activation vector right so you have an activation vector so w1 and w2 right so you have two different weight matrices one for your input features one for your activations so that you can combine both of them right so let us uh, denote this matrix as uh, w a x and let us denote this matrix as w a a right so that we are able to get this right so you what you can do is you can now write a of t is equal to some nonlinear function g of w a a a of t minus 1 okay plus w a x into x of t plus some bias right so this is how you can write this equation where g is some nonlinear function like relu or tan h right okay so some nonlinear function relu or let's say tan h right and similarly you can write your output right so let us also define what is going to be y hat of So again, that would be some another nonlinear function into W Y A of A of T minus one plus B Y. Right. So this would be A of T. Right. Okay. So what I'm saying here is you have. Uh, you are computing this value using these two values right and you can compute yt, yt using these two values but since we have uh, combined these two values uh, in the form of at so you can say your y hat t is a function of a of t right? 
you can say that right so for y hat at time t i'm saying that i'm going to take the output activation going going to multiply it with some matrix or some weight parameters and add some bias and i apply the relu function or some non linearity to get my y output right so these are the two equations that are going to go on what the output state vector so this is the output state and this is the current output for the current word right okay current word output so this is what it is going to be right so this is what an rnn cell is going to do okay so you can see it is like a neural network okay so it is like a neural network what because what we do in a neural network is we take some inputs we apply some weights on them and then we do the forward propagation thing right so here also how do you do forward propagation you take some inputs from here and here you apply some function and you give it to the next cell it also again applies those functions and give it to the next cell right so this is how you are going to do a forward pass through the rnn and remember right so very important point to remember is the weight the weight matrices that you have defined here right and here they they are going to be common for all the cells right so each cell they will be shared across each the cell right because if you have a sentence like this is a great movie this is a great movie and let's say i found this movie great right okay so then your po position position of the word in the sentence should not be important right so suppose your rnn learns some parameters for great at this point those parameters should also be available at this point right so we want the translation invariant property like in cnn if you see there is a cat at this place then if i give you a different image which has a cat at this place it still sh should be able to figure out that there is a cat right so your weights of the network right so your weights are shared across all the cells right or you can say all the cells are like sharing weights right so we there is a weight sharing right so the matrices that you are going to learn right the weight matrices they will be shared across all the cells and if if one of the cells updates the weight matrix it will be reflected in all the other cells also right this is what i am going to say right and uh, regarding notation what we have uh, done here is so this waa means yeah waa means that we are uh, computing the activation vector and this weight is the second is says that this weight is for the activation state vector right and this says that the input is x right and wya means that we are using this weight to compute y and this weight is multiplied with the activation vector this is the activation vector right so if, if you are uh, have confused in the notation so remember this waa is this a stand for output is activation this a stand for output is a activation and this y stands for output is a y and what 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 goes as a input to this right so input is a x input is a activation and input is a activation right so this is how you can easily remember uh, these equations right so this is so yeah so this is all about an rnn cell in the next video we will talk about different type of rnn architectures we will do right